Joining me now is Phil Steele, the man behind the amazing book, the college football preview book that I once was in back in the day. Phil, I appreciate your time. What are your takes on Northwestern this season with Coach Fitz and his team going up against Michigan State in their opener? Well, I think that Northwestern's going to be better than most expect. Now, I'll preface that with the fact that uh, I talked to about 110 of the 130 head coaches this year going over their teams with them. Almost everybody has 15, 16, 17 returning starters. Almost every coach told me that this spring, it was the deepest they've ever had a team. They went three deep uh, it, running teams in the spring. But uh, Northwestern only has four starters back on offense, four on defense. But talking to Coach Fitzgerald, he feels they're going to surprise a lot of folks this year. I think they're the better team uh, in this opening game against Michigan State, and they're at home, and I think they have something to prove. Hunter Johnson's not the quarterback we saw on the field two years ago. He's a different Hunter Johnson right now. The defense is going to be better than expected, and I think Northwestern opens up the season with a solid win uh, probably by double digits. I think they win this one more comfortably than expected. Well, what about the Illini? Brett Bielema got his first win as Illini head coach over the weekend. Lost Brandon Peters though with that injured shoulder, not knowing how long he's going to be out. But how do you see this offense kind of moving maybe with Art Sitkowski if he does have to maybe take over for a longer period of time? Well, I think the offense is better with Brandon Peters at quarterback. But I'll tell you this. When I talked to uh, Coach Lovey Smith and went over the uh, team with him two years ago, he felt all five starting offensive linemen were NFL caliber. When I talked to Coach Bielema this year, I said, well, what do you think? He's like, I think all five guys are starting our NFL caliber. So with that kind of offensive line, I'd like to be the quarterback from behind that unit. Uh, he should fare fairly well. But I, I think the, the Illini will be better if Brandon Peters is at QB. I think he gives him a little bit more upside. But this is a team that as the wins build, and they should be able to beat UTSA this week and get to 2-0, and as the wins build, the players start to buy into the new head coach, and uh, they'll gain a lot of confidence as the season goes on. Well, we know when it comes to the college football playoffs, Notre Dame has been there, haven't been able to get over that hump. For Brian Kelly, they got Florida State right out the gate. But it's still with Jay Cohen as the starting quarterback. Is he the guy to, you know, that Wisconsin transfer to be able to come in here and establish that uh, Irish offense? Now, if he was taken over for Trevor Lawrence, I would say he's going to struggle. But he's taken over for Ian Book. And Ian Book had a good career, but not a spectacular one. And I think that sums up Jack Cohn. He can win you, or he can not lose you football games. He can do enough to get it done. He did it at Wisconsin in his first year as a starter. So I think he'll be similar to Book. He's got a guy in the backfield and Kyron Williams, who's one of the best running backs in the country. The defense should be one of the best defenses in the country. And when you look at Notre Dame's schedule, there are no easy easy games on the schedule the entire season. However, there's also no unwinnable games on the schedule the entire year. Probably the only game they're a slight underdog in is Wisconsin. So I think Notre Dame's capable of getting back there. They need to stay healthy. They need the young offensive line to come around. And I think they passed their first test in Tallahassee and win that game on the road. Do you think this is a year where we don't see Chalk uh, winning a national championship? Or do you think we maybe see someone, another team emerge and jumps in that final four? You know, if there's ever a year for the pack to catch up, this would be it. As I mentioned, when I talked to the coaches, uh, the majority of the coaches said, Phil, we couldn't even feel, you know, we struggled to get it too deep together in the spring in most years. This year, we run three full teams. We're as deep as we've ever been. I heard that constantly talking to the coaches. Meanwhile, you look at the four teams that made the playoff last year, and those four teams all have just 9, 10, 11 returning starters. All of them lost their starting quarterback. So I think the, the pack catches up. And my pick, I did go out of the box picking the national champ, although it's a big name. It's Oklahoma. And Oklahoma has not won a national title since 2000, believe it or not. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually calling for the Sooners with that defense, with a strong special teams and an outstanding quarterback to uh, win the national title, their first one since 2000. Do you think my Canes have any chance, <laughs> Bill, any chance to be able to pull off the upset against Roll Tide in Atlanta over the weekend? Well, they catch them at a good time. Alabama's only got three returning starters on offense. They lose their top running back, two first-round draft pick receivers, a first-round draft pick quarterback, and three starting offensive linemen. If they can get their pass rushers going, the only concern I have with Miami, they lost their top two pass rushers. If Diaz's defense can get pressure on the quarterback, I think they can definitely make a game of it. I think the key for Miami actually winning the game is going to be their offensive line. If they can hold off Alabama's outstanding pass rush, give De'Ara King time and let him use his 
those legs a little bit as well, then Miami would have a chance. For the record, I'm picking Alabama to win that game. I liked everything that Phil said except for at the end. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go. You really thought he was going to go with the Canes there? Come no, on. I didn't. It's all good. He is an amazing man. And that book, if you get a chance, everybody, you got to get the book because he is amazing. It gives you all the best insight. I want the retro book with you in it from 20 years ago. With my flat top. So. I had a flat top and a fade back in the day, too. Love it. All right, we're going to go to break now. When we come back.